He waited a long time for the position to arrive, but he's been in the chair now a good while. And though sometimes his wife has garnered the headlines more than him, Speaker John Burko is no shrinking violet. The honourable gentleman, the right honourable gentleman, has absolutely no business scurrying out of the chamber. Order! The right honourable order! The order! The reaction of some MPs to that was best expressed like this. What do you think of the show so far? <laughs> Once a boy on Crackerjack, the shouting came from the audience. But now he's in charge of running the parliamentary show. Speaker Burko takes on all comers. The word con man is frankly unparliamentary. <laughs> and let me order, and let me, let me order. He, he's, the Prime Minister is a man of great versatility and the use of language, it's a bit below the level. Be quiet. If you can't be quiet, get out. You're adding nothing, you're subtracting a lot. It's rude, it's stupid, it's pompous and it needs to stop. What he should not do is fail to communicate with me in advance, ignore the convention and greatly exceed his allotted time. It is, I'm afraid, discourteous and incompetent, and it must not happen again. There is a badge of honour, and it's called BBB. Um, we would call it bashed by Burko rather than what it really stood for, and it became a badge of honour in the end, and clearly, you know, you, you, sometimes you have a bad day, and maybe, um, you know, um, in John's case, he's had a few by the looks of it. They have a perfect right to, be, to feel deeply insulted, but they tend to be pretty trivial figures who and uh, uh, capacity for taking exaggerated offence is often a sign of personal triviality in my opinion. Can I just say to the Prime Minister's PPS, his role <laughs> is to nod his head in the appropriate places and to fetch and carry notes. No noise required. But the Speaker likes to make noise, even offering opinion on HS2. His undesirable, unwanted and unnecessary project. Or human rights to the Chinese president. No country can exist in isolation, in all matters, from international law to individual liberty. For his supporters, though, being forthright is no bar to delivery. He is one of the best speakers of modern times, in my opinion, because he keeps the business moving along, and he, the great task of the Commons is to hold the executive to account, and he makes sure that if there's a, there's a minister who has questions to answer, that minister will be at the dispatch box answering them. The fact that he is a naturally very rude man doesn't really matter.